And we're going handheld again because they're coming in. They're they're here and I don't wanna mess with the tripod. It's warmed up so it shouldn't be too much camera shake. Unfortunately, I didn't get a picture of the other side of these cars. Well, looks like they're packing up and leaving. Put my cameras away. Get in their vehicle. Very many cars at, at a Blue Seal. There's one back off on there. There might be some more inside, but all those cars that were here last time, I was here thir last Thursday, are gone. Car around holds four cars on each side. Get your own. Oh, if only you could smell the diesel fumes. It's like a truck's fumes because they're all very similar to a truck's fumes because there's truck engines. Move a couple of them. Three step. Next to their hoses. And there they go.
you know, show them the other end of that siding as it goes down to beyond Blue Seal. They'll be left there for BF1 to pick up Wednesday. And I might be here to pick up for, for that. I've been staying up all night lately. I might I might be up for that. I don't know. Uh, they came in at like 10.30 uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday. So when BF1 came in, then Arcade and Attica came right down and got the cars then and pulled them up to get them ready for the next trip. So, for today's trip. So, we might get... Uh, end of era video tomorrow or not tomorrow Wednesday week after this is being filmed love to see and here they come back we're just barely within sight they're the uh, grab irons were just visible on the side of the blue seals on the loading bays. Now we coming back through the track they went up on and heading back to the engine house. back this location in six days from now earlier in the morning uh, getting the uh, Buffalo and Pittsburgh switching blue seal feeds here and uh, dropping off cards to the arcade and Attica and picking up ones in the arcade and Attica and maybe the arcade and Attica pulling those cars into town I'm probably going to get at least one more clip of the Arcade Natica, so we'll sign off then. Yellow for traffic and red.
finally back they go. You can see maybe C112 in there. I can see it. There's 113. Switch stand right here, pedestrian crossing, vehicle crossing. There's the excursion equipment over there. Railroad rail protecting the uh, switch stand there from getting damaged. They have a siding off the Y, or that I think no, it's a switch for the rest of the Y. You got more uh, excursion equipment over there. Why do they have them split, the cars split up? I'm not sure why they would do that. There's their crane for tie replacement. They got their main three equipment switches. Switch for the track that 18 goes into is the one track that the crane is on, and then the 460s on the other on the other track and inside. But that's it from uh, Arcade, New York. Keep on loading trains. Tim out. Okay, a couple last year or a year or two years ago, a tornado hit near where I live. And I put a video on the channel of the damage it had done. And including uh, I'm sitting here by where the big that big barn where that was. That's all that's left of it. They completely tore it out. There's a little bit of it left back there, but they took it completely down. There was quite a bit of it they, they could have saved, but they, they took it completely down, which is a shame. That was a huge, beautiful old barn. That's a real shame. Uh, we're going to also show you some uh, trees along the route. Uh, put the... Uh, I should have enough room on the dashboard to have the uh, flexible tripod up there. I have that with me. I have all my tripods with me. Okay, we got the foam like a dash cam. Don't need those on anymore. It's not raining. And there's this is the view that you had for that video. Mom was driving for coming up to that barn. So use that look back at that video for reference how big that barn was. All that's left is a milk house. Or at least part of the milk house. That's all that's left of it. That's a shame. It's, I hate seeing old barns like that. I, it, uh, it, it's a real shame. That's just all there is to it. I hate, I hate seeing it. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, now... Woods and the left. Might be able to see some of the damage. Got a guy coming up on me. So. Unfortunately, there you can see that was one of the trees that was up there. There's some more up there. Now look at the right. Look at that tree line over there. You can see a bunch of downed trees. Still there from the tornado. There's one over there uprooted. Some over here uprooted. All these things that are along the side here, those are all tornado damage from that day. I have to speed up, unfortunately, so. Play the video back at slow speed and you should be able to see it. Play it back in slow motion, like half speed, and you should be able to see it fine without getting sick.